please join me in our prayer for the sick and homebound. Father of goodness and love, hear our prayers for the sick members of our community and for all who are in need. Amid mental and physical suffering, may they find consolation in your healing presence. Show your mercy as you close wounds, cure illnesses, and make broken bodies whole and free downcast spirits. May these special people find lasting health and deliverance, and so join us in thanking you for all your gifts. We ask this through the Lord Jesus, who healed all who believed. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Remember, I'm asked today to repose of the soul of Bill Sher and Cachita Garcia. And we also welcome Joan and Felix, who are celebrating their first wedding anniversary today. We don't get too many of those. We get like a lot of 50s and 60s. <laughs> so at the, after communion, we're going to bring them up and give them a little blessing on their anniversary today. In today's gospel... We remember that the Pharisees and the Sadducees come up to Jesus and ask him for a sign. So as we begin this day, we gather to celebrate the Eucharist. Let us ask Jesus to give us a sign through the Eucharist. You were sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have Christ mercy. Have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Mahaya. Hear what the Lord says. Arise, present your plea before the mountains and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, O mountains, the plea of the Lord. Pay attention, O foundations of the earth, for the Lord has a plea against his people and he enters into trial with Israel. Oh, my people, what have you done? Or how have I, I worried you? Answer me, for I brought you up from the land of Egypt, from a place of slavery I released you, and I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. 
With what shall I come before the Lord and bow before God most high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with myriad streams of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my crime, the fruit of my body for the sins of my soul? You have been told, O oh man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you, only to do the right and love goodness and to walk humbly with your God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Responsorial Psalm. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifice do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. The upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To, to the, the upright, upright, I will show the saving power of God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Some of the scribes and the Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, an evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah the prophet. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonah and there is something greater than Jonah here. At the judgment, the queen of the south will arise with this generation and condemn it because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon and there is something greater than Solomon here. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Then 
some of the scribes and Pharisees said to him, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. Jesus had already shown many marvelous signs. And the scribes and Pharisees would surely <clears throat> have seen or heard about them. Yet, some of them wanted even more. Imagine how their lives would have been enriched if they would have recognized and accepted what had already been given. Could there be a lesson in this for all of us? Each one of us has been touched by many signs of God's love and goodness. We have been given the precious ability to give and to receive love, to appreciate what is beautiful in our lives, to use our particular talents to bring joy to ourselves and to others. We don't all have the same gifts, but we find joy when we appreciate what we do have. Sometimes, though, we forget what has been given, and that can cause a lot of unhappiness. Today, as we gather to celebrate this Eucharist, may we see more deeply the gifts we have received and be thankful for the way they have enriched our lives. Let us now continue by praying the universal prayer. We now offer our petitions to the Father, confident in his loving response. For all members of the church, may the Lord strengthen and protect us, his servants. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all people, May God look graciously upon them and lead them to the peace that only he can give. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the elimination of every disease and affliction, especially this pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community gathered in prayer, may the manifestations of God's kingdom in our midst Help us to lead holy and faithful lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country, for God's protection during this current era of prejudice and rioting, and for a return to peace and understanding, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, may they rest in peace and rejoice in the presence of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers and intentions that we've placed in our prayer book, and for all the prayers and intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O loving Father, hear the prayers we have offered today. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer through the vine of work of our human hands, who become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Great brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O well, God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion very offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your beneficial, from your faithful servants, and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that each has offered to your honor and glory may benefit all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the and Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. And it's truly right and just, our duty and salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks to our Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. Just as through your beloved Son, you created a human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so, it is right that all creatures serve you, all redeemed praise you, all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol with you all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your spirit upon them like the dewfall, <clears throat> so they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time... He was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, the supper was ended. He took the chalice, once again giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. It's the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you in many forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, your bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, the bishops, clergy, deacons, religious, and all the people who serve you. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray. Of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, St. Mark the Evangelist, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. 
and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Christ, with Christ, and in Christ, O God Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, who glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And a Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. With the help of your mercy, we are always free from sin and safe from all the stress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon, the Lord, the gracious, the merciful, has made a memorial of his wonders. He gives food to those who fear him. The body of Christ.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
I'd like to invite um, Joan and Felix, if they would please come forward, we can bless them on their first anniversary. See how excited he is? <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the grace and blessings you have given Joan and Felix during this past year, the first year of their marriage. We celebrate and recall the day when they joined together as partners in life. And we thank you for being with them on their daily journey through their, through their life's ups and downs. Increase their sense of belonging to each other, just as Jesus says. For this reason, a man leaves father and mother, is united to wife, the two become one flesh. They are no longer two, but one. We thank you that you have freely given them your presence, your strength, your help, and your hope. We pray that they continue to grow in their ability to work together for the good of each other, for the good of family, and for the good of the world. Fill them with love, forgiveness, patience, and trust. Increase their sense of companionship and friendship. Give them the ability to laugh at their mistakes and the means to share the simple pleasures of life together. Enable them to speak the truth in love. Help them to be good listeners. Grant, their, grant them wisdom and a spirit of cooperation as they make your good plans together on tough issues and challenges that they face. Surround them with good friends and neighbors, protect their home, care for their families, provide for their needs, guard their health, and may they enjoy many anniversaries together through Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Graciously present to your people, we pray, O Lord, then lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from warmer, former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. After the completion of our celebration of the Eucharist here, for those who would like to stay, we will continue the novena to St. Anne. So if you'd like to stay, please stay, and we'll come back and do that after the conclusion. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl throughout the world seeking the ruin of souls.